God bless in the mighty name of Jesus. You are most warmly welcome to this wonderful program, the Evil Hour. I welcome you on behalf of my wonderful wife and myself. Relax. Take your pen. Take your paper. Take your Bible. And flow with us in this program. The Almighty will bless you as you continue to join us. Don't forget to invite your friends to the Evil Hour. Be the best and be the best in the name of Jesus. The morning of your life is the best time to build a fortress for your success. success. And so are just like the ego. Like Join us today for insights, Inside. anointing, anointing. Secrets, secrets, and the word, and the word. that will awaken the giant in Wake you up. and make you a pace setter. It's time to bid the best and be the best. Be the, the Eagle Hour with your host, Dr. DK. Oh, look, I God bless in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is your friend in the School of Prayer and Deliverance, Daniel Lukoya. You are most warmly welcome to this Eagle Hour. An hour for those who want to fulfill their destiny. An hour for those who want to learn the secret of greatness. God bless you as you join us in Jesus' name. Bow down your heads and let us pray. Father, we thank you because your name is above all names. Father, we thank you because you always hear our prayers. Father, we thank you because you always answer our prayers. Father, we thank you for this garden of your children. Accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Father, lay your hands upon us today. Let us see, let us, let us experience your power. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. At the eagle hour of today, we are looking at ancient secrets for uncommon breakthroughs. Ancient secrets for uncommon breakthroughs. In 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 26, we read a very curious verse. I therefore so run, not as uncertainly, so fight I, not as one that beateth the air. Meaning that in life, it is possible to run with uncertainty. It is possible to be running or you are really running to nowhere. It's possible to fight as if you are just beating the air, not eating any target. The richest place on earth has been called the graveyard because the graveyard is full of undiscovered greatness and riches. May you not be caged by the spirit of the grave in the name of Jesus. May your talents never be part of those that will enrich the graveyard in the name of Jesus. Do not add to the wealth of the graveyard. Don't participate in being part of the evil bank of the graveyard. There is no product that determines its purpose in the market, but the manufacturer does. You must know why you were manufactured. There are plenty of zombies around who just follow the crowd. It is unfortunate. For the same reason, we preach always purpose before partner. Purpose before partners. Have your purpose well defined before you begin to look for a wife or a husband. Purpose is your currency in doing business with God. He cannot favor you or pay you for being a pastor when he has called you to be a pilot. And note this, beloved, your location determines your allocation. Know this very well. Ancient strategies for uncommon breakthroughs. A breakthrough is a step forward, and it could be physical or spiritual breakthrough. A breakthrough is a leap forward. Breakthrough means success. Discovery, revolution, innovation, next level of growth and success. Breakthrough is a successful military asset that penetrates the camp of the enemy. Breakthrough is moving through or beyond an obstacle. Breakthrough is notable success. A breakthrough is a sudden advance in knowledge and technique. May you be a candidate of uncommon breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. What are these keys? Key number one, find God. Find God. Until you find God, you find nothing. The Bible says you brought nothing to this world. And it is certain that you are not going to take anything out of it. You need genuine salvation. You need to find God. The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Find God. Until you find God, you find nothing. Number two key. Be an addict of the Word of God. Be a Bible addict. Read the Word of God. Meditate on the Word of God. 
Eat the word of God like honey and let the word dwell richly in you. Key number three, be a prayer addict. Be an eagle in the place of prayer. Let prayer become your oxygen. Be a prayer warrior. Key number four, be a broken Christian. Broken Christian is the one who is ready to obey the Lord, no matter how uncomfortable it is. Their yes is their yes, their no is their no, and they are ready to do anything God asks them to do. Be a broken Christian. Key number five is to get the seven walls of defense around you. Get the seven walls of defense around you. These are the seven walls of defense you need to get around you. The first one is the wall of fire. The wall of fire. Zechariah chapter 2 verse 5. For I said the Lord will be unto her a wall of fire round about and will be the glory in the midst of her. You need that wall of fire. May God surround you with the wall of fire that the enemy cannot penetrate in the name of Jesus. You need the wall of the angels. The wall of the angels. In Psalm 34 verse 7. Psalm 34 verse 7. Say the angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. You need the wall of that angels to encamp around you and to deliver you. You need the wall of his name in Proverbs chapter 18 verse 10. Say the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and is safe. The wall of his name. You need the wall of his shadow. The wall of his shadow in Psalm 91 verse 1. Says he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty, the wall of his shadow. Then you need the wall of his wings in Psalm 91, verse 4. Psalm 91, verse 4 says, He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Then you need the wall of his presence in Psalm 125, from verse 1 to 3. Psalm 125, 1 to 3. They that trust in the Lord shall be as Mount Zion, which cannot be removed but abided forever. As the mountains are round about Jerusalem, so the Lord is round about his people from henceforth even forevermore. For the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous, lest the righteous put forth their hands unto iniquity. You need the wall of his presence. Then you need the wall of the blood of Jesus. The wall of the blood of Jesus. Those are the seven walls that you need around you. May you be keyed into the anointing of these seven walls in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Key number six. Always keep your word, thereby maintaining your integrity. Always keep your word, thereby maintaining your integrity. In Matthew chapter 5, verse 37. But let your communication be ye, ye, nay, nay. For whatsoever is more than this, commit of evil. And in James chapter 5 verse 12, say, But above all things, my brethren, swear not, neither by heaven, neither by the earth, neither by any other hoof. But let your yea be your yea, and your nay, nay, lest you fall into condemnation. Always keep your word, thereby maintaining your integrity. 7. Focus on giving rather than getting, and you will ultimately attract greater success. Focus on giving rather than getting, and you will ultimately attract greater success. In Acts chapter 20 verse 35, I have showed you all things, how that so liberally you ought to support the weak, and to remember the words of the Lord Jesus, how he said it is more blessed to give than to receive. Focus on giving rather than getting and you will ultimately attract greater success. Number eight, get rid of anything less than excellent in your life. Get rid of anything less than excellent in your life. Note in Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 10, Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might. For there is no work, no device, no knowledge, no wisdom in the grave whither thou goest. That's Ecclesiastes 9. Give everything you are doing your best shot. Point number nine. The measure of a man's real character is what he will do if he knew he will not be found out. So take care of your character 
avoid character disorder. In Proverbs chapter 10 verse 9, He that walketh uprightly walketh surely, but he that perverted his ways shall be known. Number 10. The more you complain, the fair opportunities people will offer you. 1 Corinthians 10.10 10. Neither murmur ye, as some of them also murmured, and were destroyed of the destroyer. Point number 11. Never lie to anyone. Never lie to anyone. In John chapter 8, verse 44. Ye are of your father the devil, and the loss of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. We must ensure that there is no falsehood in us. Never lie to anyone. Point number 12. Never begin or spread rumor, gossip, or any negative comments about anyone. Never begin or spread rumor, gossip, or any negative comments about anyone. In Proverbs chapter 18, verse 8, the walls of a tail bearer are as wounds, and they go down into the innermost parts of the belly. This is very, very important. You must understand this if you want continuous stream of breakthroughs. Point number 13, listen 85% and speak 15%. You will learn more and your life will change. In James chapter 1, verse 26, If any man among you seem to be religious and breathed not his tongue, but deceived his own heart, this man's religion is in vain. If any man among you seem to be religious and breathed not his tongue, but deceived his own heart, this man's religion is in vain. You must listen more than you speak. According to James chapter 1 verse 26, point number 14, do not waste your precious time being occupied with what you think other people are thinking. Do not waste your precious time being occupied with what you think other people are thinking. In Galatians chapter 1 verse 10, For do I now persuade men, or God, or do I seek to please men? For if I yet please men, I should not be the servant of Christ. Galatians 1.10 Point number 15, You will lose power in the present if you do not have a clear vision for the future. You will lose power in the present if you do not have a clear vision for the future. In Philippians 3.13, it reads, Brethren, I can't not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. You must focus. You must have a clear vision. Point number 16. Keep working on yourself. Keep working on yourself. Don't give up. Keep working on yourself. It means make commitment to grow daily. Learn that the secret of your success is found in your daily routine. 1 Corinthians 15 31. I protest by your rejoicing, which I have in Christ Jesus our Lord. I die daily. 17. Persevere. Don't give up. Persevere. Proverbs 24 16 says, For a just man falleth seven times and riseth up again, but the wicked shall fall into mischief. Persevere. Life will either bury you or bless you. No amount of biblical input, deep conferences, overcomer seminar will exempt you from the battle of life. Those who quit never accomplish anything. Determine to stand firm. Never give up. Divine determination and not talent led to the success of many. This is very, very, very important. Very important. 18. Discover and pursue your divine destiny. Discover and pursue your divine destiny. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 2. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run the reader Pursue your divine vision. 19. Keep your body under. Keep your body under. That is, control yourself. In 1 Corinthians 9, 16. For though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of. For necessity is laid upon me. Yea, woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel. 
and in 1 Corinthians 9, 27. But I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, lest by any means, when I preach to others, I myself should be a castaway. We must have our body under control. We must be disciplined men and women. We must get our bodies under control. We must be disciplined men and women. Many hate the discipline of fasting. But without the discipline of fasting and praying, many will never get to their goals. Those who fast and pray are more likely to reach their goal. 20. Be humble. In Proverbs chapter 16, verse 18, Pride goes before destruction, and an haughty spirit before a fall. Pride goes before destruction, and an haughty spirit before a fall. We must not allow pride to take over our lives. We must be humble. God lamented against Ephraim. So Ephraim has joined himself to idols, leave him alone. God is against the proud, but he respects the humble. I pray that the hand of God will be upon you to be humble in the name of Jesus. 21. Anger must die. Anger must die. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes 7 9, Be not hasty in thy spirit to be angry, for anger rested in the bosom of fools. Anger must die. The devil discovered just one weakness in the life of Moses, the weakness of anger. So the enemy began to throw blow to Moses to annoy him. Moses kept dodging over and over again, was dodging, was dodging, but at this time, the thing was beginning to penetrate until Moses got impatient and then uttered statements that it should not utter. Any weakness in your life that you have not dealt with will be a ladder for the enemy to harass and to torment you. It is important that you understand this. 22. We must develop the ability to hear clearly from the Lord. Ability to hear clearly from the Lord. Bible says in Revelation 3.20, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hears my voice and opens, I will come in and dine with the person. God is always willing to talk to us. We need to hear him clearly. 24. We must grow. No matter what, we must grow. The Apostle Paul spoke of three levels of Christianity. Babes, carnal, spiritual. To be childlike and babe-like, at the proper age is wonderful. But what a shame and a disappointment when you see 15 years old, 30 years old, 40 years old, 50 years old babies. A kind of Christian has been saved, but is still being ruled by the soulish nature. It's still motivated by the old nature, ruled by the souls. At some point, beloved, in comparing yourself with others, there's no point in always being concerned about what others think of you. Any man or woman may have an opinion, but that opinion must not detect your destiny. There's no point in hunting for desire to be recognized, a desire to feel important, a desire to have posts, a desire for elevation. When you're in a carnal stage, you are living as a servant, though you are a son and daughter of God. Many people are quick to forget that the flesh is not going to give in easily. The flesh is actually determined to defeat you. It does not give up the throne of your life. You have to take that throne away from him. It will contest with the throne of your life. You need to take the throne away from him. The flesh is determined that you are not going to rule. It is determined that you are not going to take control of your life. In our old nature, the flesh is king. The servant is the soul. The slave is the spirit. But when you become a spiritual man, the other changes. The spirit becomes king. The soul becomes servant. The flesh becomes a slave. You lose your desire for worldly amusements and pleasures. You lose the appetite to satisfy the flesh. The new life within you will have different appetites. The things you once loved, you begin to eat. When Mr. Flesh dies in your life and you become a matured Christian. When Christ becomes the center of your life, you emerge victorious and undefeated in life. You live a life of power. It is a life that can never be submitted to the enemy when Christ becomes the center in your life. And so whether you find it convenient or not, whether you find it easy to do or not, you must grow. It is important that you must grow. In Galatians chapter 4 from verse 1, Now I say that the heir, as long as is a child, different nothing from a servant, though he be lord of all, but is under tutors and governors until the time appointed of the father. Even so we, when we were children, were in bondage under the enemies of the world. But when the fullness of the time was come, God sent his son, made of a woman, made under the law, to redeem them that were under the law, that we might receive the adoption of sons. You must grow. It is important to grow. You cannot negotiate it. God bless you in Jesus' name.
in case you are listening to me and you are not born again, you need to surrender your life to Jesus by saying what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. If you said that should pray with me, I congratulate you. We're going to pray now. Can you shout this loud and clear? Oh God, open my eyes to behold wondrous things from you. In the name of Jesus, oh God, open my eyes to behold wondrous things from you. In the name of Jesus, oh God, open my eyes to behold wondrous things from you. In the name of Jesus, oh God, open my eyes to behold wondrous things from you. In the name of Jesus, oh God, open my eyes to behold wondrous things from you. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Holy Ghost and fire overshadow every part of my life in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost and fire overshadow every part of my life in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost and fire overshadow every part of my life in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost and fire overshadow every part of my life in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost and fire overshadow every part of my life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, oh God, arise and lay your hands upon my life in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and lay your hands upon my life in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and lay your hands upon my life in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and lay your hands upon my life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Anointing for uncommon breakthroughs. Fall upon me in the name of Jesus. Anointing for uncommon breakthroughs. Fall upon me in the name of Jesus. Anointing for uncommon breakthroughs. Fall upon me in the name of Jesus. Anointing for uncommon breakthroughs. Fall upon me in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so I plug my life into the socket of divine acceleration. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I plug my life into the socket of divine acceleration. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I plug my life into the socket of divine acceleration. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I plug my life into the socket of divine acceleration. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I plug my life into the socket of divine acceleration. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I plug my life into the socket of divine acceleration. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I plug my life into the socket of divine acceleration by the power in the blood of Jesus I plug my life into the socket of divine acceleration by the power in the blood of Jesus in Jesus name we pray amen say opportunity wasters I'm not a candidate Die in the name of Jesus. Opportunity wasters. I'm not a candidate. Die in the name of Jesus. Opportunity wasters. I'm not a candidate. Die in the name of Jesus. Opportunity wasters. I'm not a candidate. Die in the name of Jesus. Opportunity wasters. I'm not a candidate. Die in the name of Jesus. Opportunity wasters. I'm not a candidate. Die in the name of Jesus. Opportunity wasters. I'm not a candidate. Die in the name of Jesus. Opportunity wasters. I'm not a candidate. Die in the name of Jesus. Opportunity wasters. I'm not a candidate. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Anointing for uncommon breakthroughs. Overshadow my life in the name of Jesus. Anointing for uncommon breakthroughs. Overshadow my life in the name of Jesus. Anointing for uncommon breakthroughs. Overshadow my life in the name of Jesus. Anointing for uncommon breakthroughs. Overshadow my life in the name of Jesus. Anointing for uncommon breakthroughs. Overshadow my life in the name of Jesus. Anointing for uncommon breakthroughs. Overshadow my life in the name of Jesus. Anointing for uncommon breakthroughs. Overshadow my life in the name of Jesus. Anointing for uncommon breakthroughs. Overshadow my life in the name of of Jesus, anointing for uncommon breakthroughs, overshadow my life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. It's a fire of God. Born to ashes every work of delay in my life. In the name of Jesus, fire of God. Born to ashes every work of delay in my life. In the name of Jesus, fire of God. Born to ashes every work of delay in my life. In the name of Jesus, fire of God. Born to ashes every work of delay in my life. In the name of Jesus, fire of God. Born to ashes every work of delay in my life. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say every spirit of failure. Walking against my life, 
break away from me in the name of Jesus. Every sweet of failure working against my life, break away from me in the name of Jesus. Every sweet of failure working against my life, break away from me in the name of Jesus. Every sweet of failure working against my life, break away from me in the name of Jesus. Every sweet of failure working against my life, break away from me in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so, agents of darkness, troubling my glory. Die in the name of Jesus. Angels of darkness, troubling my glory. Die in the name of Jesus. Angels of darkness, troubling my glory. Die in the name of Jesus. Angels of darkness, troubling my glory. Die in the name of Jesus. Angels of darkness, troubling my glory. Die in the name of Jesus. Angels of darkness, troubling my glory. Die in the name of Jesus. Angels of darkness, troubling my glory. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every power assigned to overshadow my life with disappointment. Die in the name of Jesus. Every power assigned to overshadow my life with disappointment. Die in the name of Jesus. Every power assigned to overshadow my life with disappointment. Die in the name of Jesus. Every power assigned to overshadow my life with disappointment. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So every finished work of darkness to affect my life negatively. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Every finished work of darkness assigned to affect my life negatively. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Every finished work of darkness assigned to affect my life negatively. Scatter in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So every wicked decree that says my life will not move forward Scatter in the name of Jesus. Every wicked decree that says my life will not move forward. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Every wicked decree that says my life will not move forward. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Every wicked decree that says my life will not move forward. Scatter in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Powers antagonizing my place of glory. Oh God, arise and make me rule over them. In the name of Jesus, powers antagonizing my place of glory. Oh God, arise and make me rule over them. In the name of Jesus, powers antagonizing my place of glory. Oh God, arise and make me rule over them. In the name of Jesus, powers antagonizing my place of glory. Oh God, arise and make me rule over them. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Powers making the journey of my life difficult for me. Oh God, arrest them in the name of Jesus. Powers making the journey of my life difficult for me. Oh God, arise and arrest them in the name of Jesus. Powers making the journey of my life difficult for me. Oh God, arise and arrest them in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and arrest them in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and arrest them in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every storm that refuses to give up on me, Backfire in the name of Jesus. Every storm that refuses to give up on me. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Every storm that refuses to give up on me. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Every storm that refuses to give up on me. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Every storm that refuses to give up on me. Backfire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Garment of acidic battle. Assigned against me. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Garment of acidic battle assigned against me. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Garment of acidic battle assigned against me. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Garment of acidic battle assigned against me. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Garment of acidic battle assigned against me. Catch fire. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Any strength power reporting me to the wicked world. Die in the name of Jesus. Any strength power reporting me to the wicked world. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Any power assigned to make me a slave by force. Be disappointed in the name of Jesus. Any power assigned to make me a slave by force. Be disappointed in the name of Jesus. Be disappointed in the name of Jesus. Be disappointed in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Anything that has been done to stop my progress, 
scatter in the name of Jesus. Anything that has been done to stop my progress, scatter in the name of Jesus. Anything that has been done to stop my progress, scatter in the name of Jesus. Anything that has been done to stop my progress, scatter in the name of Jesus. Anything that has been done to stop my progress, scatter in the name of Jesus. Anything that has been done to stop my progress, scatter in the name of Jesus. Anything that has been done to stop my progress, scatter in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Any power assigned to swallow my breakthroughs, die in the name of Jesus. Any power assigned to swallow my breakthroughs, die in the name of Jesus. Any power assigned to swallow my breakthroughs, die in the name of Jesus. Any power assigned to swallow my breakthroughs, die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Can you shout this loud and clear? Any curse against the works of my hand. Be broken in the name of Jesus. Any curse against the works of my hand. Be broken in the name of Jesus. Any curse against the works of my hand. Be broken in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Forces of darkness are signed against my joy and progress. Be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Forces of darkness are signed against my joy and progress. Be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Be destroyed in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you for joining the Eagle Hour. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. See you again next time. God bless you in Jesus' name. And let us share the grace in fellowship, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Seven glorious hallelujah. Let's go. Hallelujah. 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 I believe that you've been blessed by this insightful teaching brought to you by our host, Dr. D.K. Olukoya. Join us same time next week for another episode of the Eagle Hour. But as you count the days, get any of these books to edify your spirit man and tap into more secrets. Instructions for Champions Killing the Serpent of Frustration Stop Them Before They Stop You Ways to Provoke Divine Vengeance Visit www.mfmebooks.com to get a book now. If you gave your life to Christ through this program, kindly get in touch with us with the details on the screen. And to be abreast of the Eagle Hour program, quiz and every other, like us on Facebook at MFM Eagle Hour and follow us on Instagram at MFM Eagle Hour. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, surely the Lord is here.